Hi everybody! Welcome to Chelsea Groton Banks Crafting with Chelsea. Today we are doing patriotic pots and um, I have gone ahead, I'm using a small pot today uh, just so that um, you, can, you can look at it on screen, uh, but this um, really can be done with one of the large pots, but it would be really hard. <laughs> All right, don't hold that up so you can see. So I went ahead and started and I painted the bottom half of this pot with a bright white and I painted the lip of this pot with an ultramarine blue, okay? So I went ahead and did that because I'm gonna paint some other colors on the top of this and it does take the paint a little bit of time to dry. So rather than you literally watching paint dry, um, I did the first step for you. Um, so, um, I will end up painting the rest of this pot <laughs> so that I don't end up with a half painted pot. So, um, what I'm going to do is then I'm going to use some crimson red to paint some, uh, red stripes around the bottom. So I painted the whole bottom white first so that the red doesn't get completely absorbed into the pot. Um, it's going to look, uh, brighter if I, um, just painted it on here on top of the white. So I'm going to um, be pretty liberal with my stripes here. Um, I'm going to just paint some red, red stripes. They don't have to be perfect. If you are a perfectionist, um, you can go ahead and tape off um, the pot so that, uh, so that your stripes are perfect. Um, but I, I kind of like the more painted rustic look. So I'm just going to go ahead and, um, freehand some stripes onto this pot. Okay. So I'm going to do a couple of red stripes on the white. Okay. So don't be worried about if you get some on the bottom. Um, it actually does not take very long to dry. I am using acrylic paint. Okay, so I'm, I have then freehanded a couple of red stripes onto my pot here. I'm just going to neaten them up a little bit. If you have a more country home, um, you could, after this dries, um, take some um, sandpaper and sand off some of the paint so that you see some of the pot underneath. That would be really pretty. Um, as you can see, my white stripe is smaller than my red stripe. Um, it doesn't bother me as much. If it bothers you, you <laughs> let this dry and then go back with a little bit of white and widen out that white stripe okay um so then i am going to take um again some of my uh white and i'm going to freehand some some stars on the blue stripe again if you're more of a perfectionist and you want your stars to be perfect you could stamp them on there uh, you could draw them on there in advance and then um, just paint them in. I'm just going to freehand some stars on here and then um, I'll go back and um, put another coat on them afterwards. They do not all have to be perfectly in a row. The great thing about painting is that you can fix anything by painting over the top of it. So I'm gonna go in here. Oops. So I've got my stars going on here. Um, if you again are more of a perfectionist you can use a ruler to make sure that they are evenly spaced 
if it's going to bother you that some might be closer than others. I just kind of eyeballed it a little bit. Um, and again, if it bothers you that that white stripe on my pot is um, smaller than um, the red stripe, then you can go back in and just rinsed my brush off here. You can go back in and widen that white stripe out a little bit, which in the end would clean up your red stripes. Um, it is the greatest thing about, about, about painting is that you can um, then go back in and fix whatever it is that you don't like. Okay. Um, you might need to do a couple of coats as you're going over the red, thinking about, uh, you know, how that works. I would definitely make sure that the red is really dry before you paint on top of it because you don't want your white stripe ending up pink. So I have chosen to use a lot of paint here because my um, red is not quite dry all the way. Um, because I am live. Uh, so um, just going in and oops. But as you can see, I am making my pot pink. So I would definitely um, wait until your red paint is all the way, all the way dry, unless you um, are fond of a pink flag, which then in, in your, you know, whatever works for you. So uh, here's our patriotic pot. It would look really cute with some red geraniums in it or some white flowers or blue or whatever. Um, you could do the smaller pots and then put your utensils in them for a picnic. That would be really cute with spoons, forks, and knives. Um, you know, use your imagination and get out there and paint some patriotic pots. We hope um, you have enjoyed this craft and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye, happy fourth.